So welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then in this uh, uh, record, we are going to have a look at uh, the job level approvals, the reassign as well as delegation. And then if you have any doubts, you can write to me directly at nana.app60 at gmail.com. I will now clarify all your doubts now. So to go there, go ahead and then have a look at it now. How to do this job level approvals and reassign and then delegation. So first I will now go there. I will now search person. I will now go to the manage search person on this one. So I have now gone to the HCM area and then I have gone there. So I will again show you, but how to go there now and click on the home icon. And then you will be having an icon called Oracle HCM or my client groups. Now. Oracle HCM or my client groups. So click on it. And then I will now go there. In this, I will now go to the person management. So click on the person management. <coughs> I will, uh, for this job level approvals, uh, you have to have two things now. Fine, that's not right. Know, first of all, query my employee EMP1, comma, E01 underscore. <clears throat> is the last name, comma, first name, I'm querying it now. So once when you query it, it's coming up, click on it now. And then I have edited and then updated the details actually. I want the edit and then I updated. So the first thing is what I have updated the position. And I click on it. Position is not very important for this particular uh, one now. So position is there. And then afterwards, the line manager is very, very important. Fine. The line manager. So EMP2 is the line manager for him. EMP2 is the line manager. So I want to update it. And then we'll be later on coming to the expense account on this one. Fine. The default expense account will be coming to a bit later on. Once when you see purchasing accounting. So this is not done. Fine with that. So EMP1 is now having what? The line manager is EMP2. That is very important. Position is not that important for this exercise actually. I click on the now. And then to close it. I will now query the second employee. <clears throat> so it's a EMP2. A01. Not P01. Oh God, I have not done that. P01 I don't know whether I done A01 or P01. I done similarly actually. Both of them are similar actually. A01, A02, A01, EMP123, and then P01, EMP123 are similar actually. So here also we have the line manager. <coughs> so you can see here for EMP2, uh, the line manager is EMP3. Now. So it's not a so uh, similarly for the A01, EMP1, EMP2, EMP3, and then P01, EMP2, EMP3 are all set actually. Okay, and then and then the next one, which you have to set is what on the job. And then you will now go to the job and go to the click, click on the home, home icon and then click on the uh, HCM, Oracle HCM, and then go to the manage jobs. <clears throat> we have to go to the work structures now and go to the work structures on this one. So on the my client groups or Oracle HCM, click on the work structures, then go to manage jobs. Go there. So I will now go to the manage jobs. So I will now query my job on the P01. I will say P01. And then A01 is also similar. Now. So P01, junior manager, let me go on the A8. The level is very, very important for the, this thing. So I can I give a level of 1001. 1001 for the EMP1, or the first level, junior manager. Click on that now. And then I will go on and query the assistant manager. So click on the assistant manager. I am querying the assistant manager. Assistant manager is 1002. And then I give it done now. And then I will go to the what's called manager, MGR. So that is 1003. So level is very, very important for job level approvals. For supervisor level approvals as well as position level approvals. So that has been done now. Thank you. So it's all done now. So similarly for the A01 also, I have done similarly. I don't want to show you, but it is all done there. Then I go there. I will now configure my approvals. Fine, I want to configure approvals. Go to this place and then click on edit roles. So here I don't change it to job level. So I have now kept both the conditions on now. And then here I have now made a change now. Fine, click on edit now. So if you go on the edit, what happens? It will now it will be a job level approval now fine routing is job level and then it going to approval chain of preparer preparer is what EP emp1 so emp1's approval chain will be used now and then you're going to start with the manager now so let me go there and then start with the preparer itself now and then up to what level you have to build the list of approvals fine up to 1003 means what it will now prepare up to 1003 mm -hmm. and then this is one information which i don't know why they are asking for now the top worker of the hierarchy is asking for so i now put the top worker as what uh, P01 underscore EMP3. Fine, go there. Click on it. So that's the one I done. So I click on OK. Now, fine. I now made a change to prepare. So it will now prepare 1001, 1002, 1003 as approval. So click on OK now. I'm going to do it. Click on it. Let me save and then deploy it. So the three employees, EMP1, EMP2, EMP3 will be coming in now. So all the three employees will be coming in now. I'm going to click on it. So it's not done now. I will now go to the shop. Then I, the already one uh, re requisition is the I think actually we'll now see what happens. So 1008, I will now open up. So I will now go and then withdraw this uh, thing now. Fine, go the actions and then withdraw and edit. We can withdraw it at any time. This is not possible in EBS basically. Once when it is approved, you cannot even open it now. Once when the submitted for approval, we cannot even open the requisition in EBS here. It's very much possible now. Everyone has now. 
So go there. So it is not done. Thank you. Come on. Then come over here now. So click on Manage Approvals. It will now show you all the three employees: EMP two, EMP EMP one, EMP two, and EMP three. We will show over there. EMP one, EMP two, and EMP three. And remember, uh, uh, the A zero one and the P zero one are having the same levels of hierarchy: one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. So it will now go on and show me the EMP one, EMP two, and EMP three as the approvals now. Fine. And all of them are in serial, and so it will be showing them one below the other. And then, since we have uh, added the application developer, it will be coming there. What? So EMP one, EMP two, three. So now I go there and then modify it. Now I go there, click on it. I will now go there, click on it. I will now edit the rules, and then I will now modify it now. <coughs> go there, click on it. I will now go down, and then click on edit now. So once when I modify it, I will now say start with the preparer. No, normally we don't start with the preparer. We don't want the preparer to again approve. No, fine. They are not required at all. So what you do is you now go there. I will now start with the manager of the preparer actually. And remember, line manager is a must actually. So in this case, what happens? You will not, it will not develop EMP two and EMP three as approvals. It is a normal practice. You won't be. But approval chain of preparer basically. Click on okay. And then this is the top level. If anybody knows what is the meaning of this, now why why they want this top worker in the hierarchy is really I am unable to understand. No, fine. Click on it. Okay. It may uh, it maybe it may not be on go beyond that. I think probably. <clears throat> click on save and then click on deploy now. That portion is great for me now. I don't know what why it's so. Now if you go there and then have a look at it, it will not show you only EMP two and EMP three. So this is on the job level. I will go to the purchase requisition. I will now go to the back and then let me withdraw it. Now. Fine, it has already been submitted. I will go there. So I have not submitted anything. I have only given a manage. I click on it. Now, if you go and then click on the manage approvals, it will now show you only EMP two and then EMP three for this approval section. So the first employee will not be coming because he is a preparer, and then we are going to start with the manager of the preparer, and so EMP two and EMP three will be coming up as the approvers for this requisition. <laughs> So this is a job level approval, and then I have given job levels of one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. So you have to discuss the end client, and then accordingly give all the jobs. So for that, now EMP two, EMP three, and then the application developer is coming. Let me submit it. Now it will go to EMP two. Thank you for submit. So this is one thousand eight requisition. Fine, go that one. I will now. Uh, I will click on submit now. So one thousand eight will be going to what? The EMP two. Click on it now. It will take some time. Now, fine. Go on. So I will now go to open a browser, and then because another another browser I had to do it. Now, fine. Go to open browser. So here I will now log in as a EMP two. Now, so it will come over here. Now, fine. Click on it. So click on sign in. <coughs> go there. I will now put the EMP two over here. Now. So one thousand eight would have come over here. Now, fine. Click on the bell icon. So click on the bell icon. I can see well, I done I done the repeat action on the one thousand eight again and again now. So click on the action required. Click on approve position and go that one. Now it will be coming up to this place. So it will now come to this place. Now what he is going to do is he is going to reassign the entire document to EMP one, A zero one, EMP one. And remember, A zero one, EMP one has got a hierarchy of what EMP one, EMP two, EMP three up to one thousand three level. Now. So this requisition needs approval up to one thousand three. And so, if he reassigns it, everything will go away to EMP. What happens? That A zero one hierarchy. If you go there and have a look at it again now, so I will now open it up and then show it to you. The entire thing will now get changed actually. If you go to the pending approval, I can see now it is with EMP two now. It is now with EMP two, and then it has to go to next EMP three. So this guy reassigns it to A zero one EMP one. Now the total thing will now change. Now you can see the total thing is going to change if he reassigns it. So I am going to reassign it and go back to it. So let me go and reassign it now. <coughs> Approval requisition will go there. So click on actions and then here what happens? You go to the reassign. In the reassign, here if you go and then write, it doesn't come at all. Fine, there is a small trick on this now. Fine, that's why uh, in the morning it was not coming. I drop it down and then I will now make a search now. Fine, click on search. I will now say go to the advanced. Fine, go there. So username contains contains definitely give you now. Fine, go to the contains. I will now put a zero one now. Fine, a zero one. I will now put it now. Fine, go there. Come on, then make a search. This is coming. So this is what is. So I am now going to assign it one. So EMP one has got a level of one thousand one. EMP two has got one thousand two, and then one thousand three. So the total thing will be reassigned to this uh, these three people now. Fine. From here, existing yeah, P zero one EMP two, P zero one EMP three, the application developer. It will all change to A zero one EMP one, EMP two, EMP three. Can see now. Once when I reason it, it will not go there. Click on it. It will not reassign. Fine. I will not say reassigned to A zero one hierarchy. So you're not writing this now, fine? So A zero one hierarchy. Fine. Click on submit now. It gets reassigned now. It gets reassigned. So it goes away to his hierarchy actually. And what is what is? So it now goes there. 
we will now go back and then make a check and click on done and then come out of it now it's now on the p01 mp2 mp3 here and click on done now so go back and then here again uh, you click on the pending approval you can now see it all gets changed actually to a01 a0 so it has got changed to a01 mp1 mp2 and mp3 and then even the application developer is not there because they don't have anything and that's not why so let us now go on the login on the a01 mp1 now i'm going to open up another browser so i will now put a01 mp1 i'm going to log in now i know in the a01 remember i click on sign in now logging in so you would have got a message now. <clears throat> go there i will now go to the click on the bell icon and then you'll be getting information fine it is now got transferred now fine a message has come as transferred approval requisition 1008 has come over here now thank you for it and then he once when he approves it it will now go to his hierarchy of the next employee a01 mp2 so i will now add a comment on this now fine so it is reassigned to a01 hierarchy is a message which has been given by mp2 now it has come to mp1 now so let us now add a comment now fine with the comment so i can even add a comment now fine add a comment <clears throat> I will not say what happens. Uh, EMP A zero one underscore EMP one something. I am not putting it now. I click on save now. The command is added. So he is going to approve it. Now it will now go to his hierarchy's next person now. I click on approve now. So click on approve. It will now go to his hierarchy's next person. I will not say again. A zero one underscore EMP one. Remember they are all reassigned actually. I click on submit now. So command is now given. We'll now go to this navigation and then have a look at it now. Now go to the navigation. So come back and then we are done now. So click on the pending approval now. Previously A zero one was highlighted now. A zero one EMP one was highlighted. Now you can see it is now given a tick mark now. Now it has gone to A zero one EMP two now. And if you click on the camera icon of the A zero one EMP one, click on it. You can now see his comments actually. Click on it. You can now his whatever comments he has given. You can now you can see it now. <clears throat> the camera icon will now say. Whatever the comments now, right? So first, it has now been submitted by EMP one P zero one EMP one. Now uh, A zero one EMP one has uh, given a comment as reassigned to A zero one hierarchy, and then uh, while approving it, he has given different comment now. Fine, first employee and so on so. On. So uh, A zero one EMP is approved now, and then afterwards it is now got assigned to A zero one EMP two now. So this you can see via camera icon, or otherwise you can even go to the done and then click on this now. Fine, go there, go to the actions and then go to the view document history here. Also, we can see this. Click on it. So I've done it so many times on this now. It's not exactly coming as my my the additional information is not exactly coming. I should have taken a new one and then shown to you. But even that, it is not coming here now. The A zero ones things are not coming. I don't know why it's so fine. But at least on the camera icon, we are able to see now. Up to withdraw only it is coming now. I have withdrawn twice actually on this now. Click on that. I should have taken a new one. Now we'll now go there and then log in as EMP two and then do it now. So if you click on the pending approval, it says it is now lying with the EMP two now. A zero one EMP two and the A zero one EMP two is now lying. So go there. So we will now go there and then approve it. I will now log out of this <clears throat> A zero one EMP one. I am logging out, and then I will now log as what A zero one EMP two now. A zero one so EMP two. I am going to log in. I am now logging in with the IE now. So A zero one EMP two. <clears throat> so click on the icon now here. We will now get what happens. Action required approve. Requisition one thousand eight is now coming. I am going to click on it. So while approving it, I will now put a comment on this. So you can even add an attachment, whatever you want. Now, find the previous employees' comments. You can all see. You know, find everybody's employee as he has signed, doesn't approve all these things. Are not coming. So go to approve. Now, find. Oh yeah, approving itself. The comment is coming. Now, find that. So uh, I will now say a zero one underscore emp two has approved. Come on, submit. The approval comment is there. So I don't want to do that. I now go to the main one and then go there and then uh, click done and then come out of it. And then. Uh, Click done and then come out of it, and then click on the pending approval of this now. Again, so now you can see EMP2 has approved now. So EMP2 tick mark has come now. So if you go to the EMP2's uh, camera icon, find his comment. We can see now. What are the comment he has given? You can see this now. So uh, all these things are coming. Find the A zero one EMP2 has approved. Whatever comments he has given is not coming. But why it is not coming on this area? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody please go make an RND and tell me now. So if you go to the actions and go to view document history, the successive approvers messages are not coming. Fine. Probably if I click on the submit requisition, I click on the submit requisition. You see, it only shows now. It's not available. It's not coming now. In this place, it's not coming. Probably since I uh, what happens? I have done multiple changes on this now. Fine. It's not coming actually. So uh, that was on many. Now I'll now go on then. Uh, what happens? I will now go to the place. Uh, I will manage requisition approvals for your search. It's okay. The manage jobs and that hotel thing has got. I'm going to click on it. I'll now log in as EMP three as an approval. He is the final person on this now. I'm clicking on it. 
on this hierarchy. So the reassigned hierarchy, he is the final person. Go there. Say zero one, and then EMP three. <clears throat> so go there. Click on sign in now. So we are signing in, and then he is the final person. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Uh, I will not say uh, action required. Approve. Fine. Click on it. Fine. <clears throat> So click on approve now. So I am the final approval. I am the final approver. Okay, A01 underscore EMP3. So he's now giving us command now. I click on select. To the number. Now the document gets approved. So on the reassigned hierarchy, what happened? The document gets approved. Thank you. Click on it. I will not open up this. Now I right click on the. Uh, I will not duplicate it now. So I have by mistake I have closed it now. Go there. So here I won't go there. Click on enter now. So go there. I will now click on the home icon and then I go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase requisitions now. And then 1080 will be there. I can see is approved. Mandichi, we got a tick mark. So the tick mark has come up and finally is approved. So once when the status has changed from pending approval to approved, you cannot uh, have a hyperlink on this map. I go to the actions and then go to view document history. You don't want to stay. I'm going to on it. Now you see it's not showing you. I'm the final approver. So the previous approvers messages are coming only after the approve action has taken place. And I don't know why it's so. So A01. So from P01 to A01, it has got reassigned now. It has got reassigned. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a delegation. You must see what happens. If you make a delegation, how it's going to go now? So click on done now. I will not make a delegation. Click on done. So let me make a new requisition and then I will now demonstrate the delegation part of it now. Go to the more task and then click on enter position lines. You know, go have a look at the delegation. So I will now populate my item over here now. Delegation means what? He will be delegated, and then once when he completes it, it will now come back to him now. That is what the come back to the same hierarchy. Now. That is what it is. That is what they reassign means what? It gets reassigned to that uh, the destination, uh, the, that person's hierarchy actually, up to the level of 1003. So here levels the same because of which is not coming like this now. Fine, remember. So you have to do a lot of R&D on uh, how to do all this thing now. You have to educate your end customers on the areas and delegation. And then uh, if you are going to keep similar hierarchy like in the levels, then it will all be building up up to that now. If the levels are not properly there, then it will not build up actually. So is one. So you go there and then click on the manage approvals again, sir. And then have a look at it. Now P01, EMP2, and EMP3 will be coming on this list now. 1009 is a requisition. I'm going to go EMP2 and EMP3 are there. I'm going to now I am going to delegate it to what? A01, EMP1. Now. When I delegate it, I'm not reasoning it. So after the A01, EMP1 approves, it will come back to EMP3 actually. And that is what we're going to have. Let me submit it now. So 1009, I'm submitting it now. So once when I submit it, it will be going over there. I'm going to click on it. I'll now go to the open and have a look at it. So 1009 has to come fine. Come on, come on. <clears throat> wah, wah, wah. It is it to come now. Fine. You want to take some time now. <clears throat> Wait on it. Now, brother. <clears throat> it's taking a long time now. It's not coming. So wait for it. Wait for it. Otherwise, it's not log out and log in now. So it does not log out and log in fine of the EMP to P01, EMP2. I'm going to log out and log in now. So sign out and sign in now. So click on confirm now. <clears throat> so you go there and then uh, log in now. Easy to one MP2 and go to log in now. This time it has to come. Hey, come on. Vandichi. <clears throat> we got it. So 1009 has come now. Fine. So click on the approve app action required fine. Go that one. This time I'm going to delegate it now. So click on action, then I'm going to delegate it. So reason is transferring it. They're transferring the ownership of the particular document to that complete different hierarchy. Whereas delegation is what? Only that particular thing will be done. Now, fine. Reason is that. Fine. Go that. Click on delegate. So click on delegate. Go that. Click on drop drop. And then in the morning we are trying to populate. This is not not coming properly. Fine. Click on drop drop. Go that. Click on. Click on search. <clears throat> and then this is also not working. So go to the advanced. And then when I made a contains, it is working now. Fine. <clears throat> and then when I made a contains, it is working properly. So go there. And then let us now make what contains now. Use the contains now. I will not put A01 and then click on search. Now I am delegating it, remember. I will not delegate it to A01 EMP. Fine, click on EMP1 and delegating it now. Fine. Delegating A01 underscore EMP1 now. I am delegating it A01 EMP1 now. So I hope that I have made only delegation now. So click on submit now. <coughs> This time I'm delegating it up. So now it is now delegated now. 
P01 EMP2 was delegated to A01 EMP1. I'm delegating it with the message also. So we'll now close this now. Click on it. But then we'll now come to the main area and then we'll now query this 1,900. We can even click on the pending approval over here. So click on the pending approval. You can now see that it will not be changed. The entire hierarchy will not be changed. So it is now changed from what happens here. Uh, P01 EMP2 to A01 EMP1. Then afterwards, it comes back to your hierarchy, actually. It comes back to your hierarchy. Got it? Okay. Got it. So it comes back to the hierarchy. So let us go there and then approve on the EMP1. So whether we will not see that the document is now having the history or not. Go to the actions and go to view document history. It's not showing me anything at all. Maybe only after approvals. On delegation, it doesn't show here. Only upon approvals, I think it is not showing over here. So I will now go there and then operate on what is the one. I will now log in as A01 EMP1. I will now go there. Click on what happens, A01 EMP1. I will now go to the IE now. I will not come out of it. In the IE, sign out and then log in as A01 EMP1 now. So A01 EMP1. Click on sign in now. Fine. You might have got a notification for 1009 now. Click on it and then go there and have a look at it. It is not delegated. It is not coming as a delegated. Delegated as an approval requisition 1009 is not coming up. On it. <sighs> So I will now add what happens. I click on approve. It will not ask for the comment. I will not put it in the <clears throat> Delegated. It happens in some companies where or I, I have seen in uh, uh, Birlasoft where they have around uh, 10 levels of approvals. The sixth level is uh, basically a person who is uh, in the finance department. So he has to first of all approve for what happens whether we have money or not to spend actually. Because demand is nothing but a representation of our spend actually. So spend approvals has to be come from approval, uh, intermediate approvals. So sometimes what happens, they delegate to a financial guy. And then that guy will now say, okay, I have funds. You can go ahead now. Fine. He will now delegate it and then he will now say it's okay. Then further, it will now go further. Otherwise, if he rejects it, it will now come back to the owner. So there are certain uh, companies which are using it to a great extent actually. So I am now delegated uh, to approve. Fine. Uh, I am A01 underscore EMP1. So he is now approving it now. Delegated to approve. Approve. So click on submit now. Now he got approved. So once when this gets approved by EMP1, A01, EMP1, now it will now come back to our hierarchy. So it will now come to EMP3. So click on that now. He has approved it and then go there. So if you click on the pending approval, you will now find a tick mark on A01, EMP1. Now it has come to A01, EMP3, P01, EMP3 has come now. So go there, go to this place, click on the now. Now we will now see whether go to actions and then go to view document history. This time upon approval, whether the message is coming, oh God, it is not coming here till now. Also, yeah. Maybe over the final approval, everything will be coming now. If you click on the submit requisition, fine, go there. <clears throat> fine. There it's now showing only this moment. But you can even see via the camera icon, fine. Whatever commands he has given, fine, click on the camera icon, you can see this. This commands you can see now. Okay. He, I'm the delegate, so and so, so and so. And so. He's not delegating it. Right? These comments we can see via camera account, but the main one is not coming. Now, but <coughs> well, now go there. We will now log in as what? P01 EMP3. Now, thank you. Now. So, EMP3, P01 EMP3 does not come back. Right? So, we're going to log in as P01 EMP3 and then go to have a look at it. P01 EMP3, we're going to have a look at it. Now. Right? So, we will now log in as this. Now, I'll go to the Opera. <coughs> I'll now log out now. Right? P01 EMP3. Fine, sign out. So, it comes back after it gets delegated. To a person, it comes back to our hierarchy. So go there. P one, P three. So go there. So I'm now logging in with the P zero one, P three now. So if you go to the bell icon, Mandichi, we got it. And turn it on, and then he's going to approve it now. So this time he's now going to approve it now. And you can even see all the comments of the previous peoples basically. And, go there. and then finally, you can take a position of what either approve it or not. Click on approve. <clears throat> so click on comment now. Final approval. Approve. Click on submit now. Finally, he is now approving it. So he has uploaded. Now this time I think it will not show in the documents history also. Go back to or just think now. I know in the Chrome browser. Thank you. Now come out of it. And then 1009 would have been approved. And then now the pending approval is still there. If you click on the hyperlink on the pending approval, what happens? You cannot see that everybody has approved now. A01, EMP1, EMP3, application developer, task completed. Jolly jolly. Everything is now complete now. <clears throat>
click on the now. And then if you go back and then come back, the pending approval will not be there now. Fine, click on the now. You will not be able to see the pending approval. Fine, there's no approval. Fine, click on it now. So now it's approved. You cannot have any hyperlink. Go to the actions and go to the document history. Fine, go to the view document history. You can go there and have a look at it now. Now everything is coming. So why? I don't know. On the approval action is not showing up. Now one it is not showing you on the final approval. The previous one delegated, that's also the message is also gone. So that is the difference between uh, what's called the reassign and then delegation. Reassign will now reassign it to that particular person's hierarchy, provided the number of persons, fine, the levels, fine, if the, uh, it will now check the levels. Up to that level only it will now build and then show it to you. So since I have kept the same level of 1001, 1002, 1003 on both the hierarchies, it's not showing you. So if you have a different levels, you only have to experiment and then see about how it's going to work now in the field. Because you may not have uh, what happens at the same level. Electrical department will be having 1001, 1002, 1003. And if mechanical department is going to have 2001, 2002, 2003, I don't know how it's going to build it now. Build the list of approvals because the entire mechanism is basically a list building mechanism. So this is now going to be, the approval mechanism itself is a list building mechanism. So you have to practically uh, what happens, uh, make an R&D on this now. And then uh, if it is going to be a different level, is it picking up three persons or two persons or whatever way you want and the job levels that you have to think of. Right? So I showed you about how it's working, but in the field, uh, you have to think uh, about the requirement and accordingly configure the levels as well as the line managers basically. Line managers is a must for the job, now, right? for the job level approvals. So tomorrow we are uh, tomorrow we'll be seeing the position level approvals as well as supervisor level approvals. So there are six methods of approvals. We have already seen the automatic approval, approval by individual worker, and then the approval group now. So today we are now seeing the job level approvals. So we'll now see the remaining two on the next day. So there are six methods of approval. And then the very powerful engine in company is now fine. So all the facilities of AME are all covered in Fusion in this simple manner. And uh, you need not have to customize anything. It's a very simple one. And then uh, it's a very powerful tool also. <clears throat> AME configuration is very difficult in US, whereas here it's not so. And purchasing is really a NASM in company is now fine. So many problems that they have identified and then they have addressed to Infusion now fine. So Infusion procurement is really lovely. And my students who have worked on EBS, they say that we will never, never, never go back to EBS at all. <laughs> so that way they are all very, very uh, comfortable on this. So we'll now see on the next video. Fine. Bye for now. Nana here.